Another turn commences of the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament 7x7 Ages game. A uh, no-start empire this turn, so we're starting with production, and we have a big one here with our Pharaonic Egyptians. Um, the sleeping runt is waking. She wasn't really sleeping, but she was... Um, her Pharaonic Egyptians weren't doing really anything for a while. Now they are able to do something again, and she is using them to a fairly strong effect against cowboy currently. So what did she do? Well, she did a big production, got a lot of money, didn't spend really any of it, so that she now has more money than him. That's going to take some points away from him. And she also reinforced a little over here by um, Venetia, so that's going to cause him some troubles there as well. The production phase ended, ended with a buildup of the Ukrainians here. Um, starting to get a strong defensive position for Cowboy so that maybe he can continue to press forward. He's still dealing with a lot though. He's got the Germans and the Papal States there. Neither of them are, I guess, the two strong of forces. I guess the biggest problem would be the Papal States here in um, Syria. Is that, that's not Syria, Illyria, sorry. Um, what Cowboy's gotta be hoping for is that that flush will come in over here Really, I mean, or someone else will come in if he wants to. If he wants to keep going, but really, yeah, he wants the wheat. He can keep his European dominance just by having this defensive position, but he needs to get at this wheat, which means he has to get. He has to get rid of the Germans. So maybe if he can keep this screen going here and keep the Papal States out, he can send some forces this way and and come in through Germany. Um, then we went through trade and trade in progress. Uh, anything interesting happened there? Well, um, the Zimbabweans, they won a trade finally against the Pharaonic Egyptians, which was nice for Giraffe. She's starting to score some points off of that. Uh, traded some cards that way. Oh, and big news, the Portuguese are now tied for the, with the Phoenicians. That is going to be trouble for Cowboy. One, because he's losing points. And two, that means the Portuguese are heading towards this fateful space right here. Um, any other big trades go down? Germans did a trade. Yeah, I think that's the big news. Maneuver phase is over, and although we thought we might see the, the Papal States assault on the Ukrainians, they they didn't quite do that. They they spread out a bit and they sent Geronimo here to the Ukrainian capital to do a little sabotage. Uh, got rid of this um, training, the circus there, which is really exciting for all the people and whips them up into a militant fervor. So now without their, their circus, they're not feeling as fighty. Spread out as well too, which um, could be beneficial if they want to produce in the future. That's, that's a telling move actually by Runt, meaning that maybe she wants to try to develop the Papal States more. But by spreading out, you know, again, that competes with her Germans, which is trouble. Uh, the only other maneuver was the English, who now have um, an equal command of the seas as the Japanese. Unfortunately, well, I think the Japanese, they have a philosopher, which means they win ties. Uh, I don't know. Who do they have? I'll have to look. I've kind of got a mess here that I have to... Yeah, yeah, Sam here. He's a philosopher, and he's right there. So, um, so Flush will still win that, because Hickok is not a philosopher. It's looking like it's going to be a vicious civilized phase so far. Um, Flush already, he caused an uprising in the free state, and then followed it up with a... Oh, did he even play the card? I just knew he was going to do it, but Empire Collapses. Uh, so what that did was it got rid of the Uprising, put some disorder down, and he got a really lucky draw, but then Giraffe also got a super lucky draw too, so it minimized the damage. Um, so that puts disorder down, and then the Collapse gets rid of anything that's disordered and puts disorder where there is no disorder. So you know, he had, the, he had the potential to put down a ton of disorder. He only put down two, um, got rid of both those units, which is, I mean, the Free State's going to have a hard time recovering from that. One, they lost their capital. They lost a bunch of units. They lost some, some prime spaces there. And it's, you know, so to do it, she would have to maneuver and then produce and then, you know, slowly build her way back up. She's not going to have that big oomph of units is when you first start an empire. That might be the end of them after this turn. 
Giraffe responded to the attack on her free state by doing a couple things. First thing, she caused a plague in Japan. Um, if you recall from before, that's that's the Japanese's big weakness um, because they're so far back in in age that um, it's just really easy to hurt them in that way. Um, I just realized that I made a mistake. This was the the Plains Americans marker. Cowboys should have two gray counter sets instead of having a black and a blue. So that's an error I made. Um, but we're just going to go with it. Next time he has an if if Ukrainians or the English leave him though, he's going to have to use his light gray. I'm not going to, I'm going to try to remember that. So anyway, they're they're particularly weak to plague, but they got lucky and the plague didn't go that far. However, that did um knock him down a uh knock flush down a, a peg so uh, a, a piece of area so that the mongols were able to take the northeast asia point which was good for a giraffe the other thing she did was she caused a jihad here on portuguese territory uh if you remember the free state or not the free state the papal states they became uh muslim last time so that they could get rid of the jihad here so now uh both of runts Two of Runt's empires are going to have to maneuver every turn or else she's going to lose three points. So she's going to be losing points. So that was a nice move by Giraffe. That's not only going to hurt Runt, but that's also going to hurt Flush, likely, because she's going to have to attack in order to, to end that. They, they, she needs a, uh, a Muslim people to be here in order for that Jihad to end. Uh, let's take a look at our points. Not a lot changed this turn. Um, I think everyone scored 12 except for Cowboy. Well... Cowboy scored 11, so in the 12 range. And then poor Giraffe, she scored a total of 7 overall after she got, after her trade bonus here. So, things are moving along. We'll see what happens next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, 7x7 seven seven ages.